Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you. In the time of sorrow, you are our comfort. Thank you. In times of loss and grief, you somehow are able to pour in and to soothe the bleeding heart. We thank you, O oh Lord. You are the, out of agony and defeat, you somehow turn the situation into joy and triumph. So let it be that from every hamlet, every hamlet, every village, every town, every city, every country, throughout the lands and the realms, throughout the nations, may there arise an anthem of praise and adoration to the King of glory. His name is Jesus, our Redeemer. Jesus, our soon coming King. Let everything that has voice this morning praise the Lord. Let everything that has bread thank you for the blood. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood of life. Thank you, Jesus, it has washed me white. Thank you, Jesus, you have saved my life. Brought me from the darkness into glory.
and may your bodies prove that God is good. And may your whole life prove that God is good. May your struggles keep you near the cross. May your troubles show. says folks in the last days that men would become thankless come on right up here brother George thankless you know you wonder about words that Paul spoke when he said think about it we glory in tribulation says Angelique just sang in the good days God is good Amen. And some of the tough days, God is still good because God is sovereign. He's a wonderful God. We want to place the emphasis on thanksgiving to God. God answers prayers for us. We don't understand a lot of God's ways for it. Remember, His ways are above our ways. And his thoughts are above our thoughts, as high as the heaven is above the earth. George went through a real trying time. And so many of us have been tested and tried in our life experiences. George, you went through a time of cancer. Yes, sir. For a few minutes, let's hear about it, giving yes, thanksgiving. Yes, sir. To God and those of you that are listening, remember, God is not a respecter of person. He really isn't. What He's done for others, He will do for you for your best. I know that to be true. George, tell us for in a few minutes, for a few minutes, what God has done for you. Good morning, everyone. As the songwriter just said, let your battles. I went through a battle. February 2020, my, my doctor called me and told me that um, I need to come in because he, they saw something in my blood that did not look good. I went in, she sent me to a specialist. Specialist said, hey, it's bad news. You have cancer. I told my wife, when you get those news, every, every time you hear the word cancer, the first thing hit you, 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 you start to get scared, really scared. Even although you're a Christian, I've been around this ministry 
for a long time. This has been my pastor for almost 30 years. I haven't left his side for 30 years. So I've been, I've gotten the word of God inside of me for a long time. So when the devil shows up to tell me, give me bad news, I was like, I told my wife, listen, no, no way. Whose report will you believe? Thank God for the doctors. Thank God for you, but you can only go so far. But the word of God stands forever. And the word says, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. By his stripes, I am healed. And every day, pastor, every day, night, when my wife is sleeping, I, I just keep speaking the word. I will not live, I will not die, but live to declare the glory of God. The word of God stands forever. That's what you need to have inside of you. So when the devil comes back to me every time, Sometimes I couldn't even sleep at night. I just stay up all night. My wife can't wake up and saw me sitting in the sofa, sitting there like a zombie. But I was speaking the word because I will never be defeated. I've been around this ministry so long. I will never be defeated by no sickness nor disease. So here I am. Here I am right now. I come to tell you, get the word of God in your spirit. Read your Bible. Read your Bible every single day. Because I'm telling you, when the devil comes, you're going to need it. That's right. You're not going to need your word, but you're going to need the word of God. Because that's what will defeat the devil. Right now, I'm standing here strong. Stronger than I have I've ever been. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Raise your hands and bless God what he's done for us. Jesus. Praise God. It's my desire. To live for Jesus It's my desire To live for Him Though often failed And cause and shame It's my desire To live for Him If you could see Where Jesus brought
Well, it's my desire to help someone today, someone who may have failed to see. Take, take this world